Kenya is probably the most tourist busy country of Africa. This magnificent country has such a wide range of wildlife that it's dazzling. Kenya boasts some of the best spots of African safari. So in today's video, let's find out the top 10 most beautiful places to visit in Kenya. Number 10. Old Prajeta Conservancy Old Prajeta Conservancy is located 200 kilometers north of Nairobi, near Mount Kenya National Park, and is a great area to see animals up close. The Big Five, that's lions, leopards, rhinos, elephants, and buffaloes, as well as additional species like cheetahs, hyenas, zebra, and hartbeest, can all be found on this 90,000-acre private game reserve which is located against the beautiful background of snow-capped Mount Kenya. The reserve is well-renowned for its northern and southern white rhinos, as well as Baraka, a black, blind rhino who may be fed by lucky visitors. Self-drive or guided excursions are available to see the animals, and admission includes a visit to the Chimp Sanctuary. Day visitors are welcome, and if you wish to extend your wilderness trip, there are accommodations ranging from bush camps and safari cottages to a lovely colonial ranch home where you may stay overnight. Number 9. Hell's Gate National Park Hell's Gate National Park is a popular climbing destination. It's one of Kenya's few parks that permits camping and exploration by foot or bicycle. With two extinct volcanoes, the red cliffs of Hell's Gate Gorge, Obsidian Caves, and Fisher Town, a former volcanic plug, Hell's Gate provides great climbing and trekking possibilities. Hot springs and natural geysers hiss tame through vents in the Earth's crust are examples of geothermal phenomena. Leopards, baboons, hartbeest, eland, ostriches, gazelles, and more than 100 kinds of birds are among the animals protected by the park. The park also has nesting sites for eagles, vultures. The park's Olur Kariya Maasai Cultural Center, which features Maasai singing, dance, and jewelry making performances, is well worth a visit. Number 8. Mount Kenya National Park Mount Kenya National Park, located in the central highlands east of the Great Rift Valley, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that offers the uncommon site of tropical snow. At 5,199 meters, it includes the country's eponymous highest peak. Mount Kenya is made up of three glacier-covered summits that were formed by a succession of volcanic eruptions. The highest peak is Batian. However, the next highest peak, Nelion, is more difficult to reach. Although changeable weather might provide problems, the lowest summit, Lenana, is considered the simplest to climb. Bring your camera with you. The breathtaking environment includes glaciers, lakes, and mineral springs, as well as alpine woodlands and dense bamboo pockets. Safaris are made more enjoyable by the diversity of flora and animals. You could see black and white colobus monkeys, buffaloes, elephant, tree hyrax, leopard, and hyena among the animals here. Number 7. Malindi Malindi on the Kenyan coast north of Mombasa has two personalities, part ancient, old town, part contemporary tourist destination. This famous seaside town has it all. It's also a melting pot of cultures and cuisines due to its long commercial history. Many visitors travel from Europe to relax on Watamu Beach's beautiful beaches and dive the coral reefs of the Malindi and Watamu Marine National Parks. If you're searching for free things to do in Kenya, you can't go wrong with a relaxing day on the beach in Malindi. The old town which originates from the 12th century also offers a taste of Swahili history. The Jami Mosque, two 14th century pillar tombs, and the Church of St. Francis Xavier, one of East Africa's oldest churches, may all be found here.
Number six, Nairobi National Park. You don't have to travel far from Nairobi to have a good time on a national safari. Nairobi's National Park is only a 15 minute drive from Kenya's capital, where you may see a sleeping pride of lions or a beautiful giraffe striding over the golden grass. If you're staying in Nairobi, one of the top things to do is visit this wildlife rich park, which makes for a wonderful day trip, especially if you can't make it to one of the larger game reserves. Buffalo, leopard, zebras, wildebeest, hippos, elephants and cheetahs are among the traditional safari stars. And the park's rhino sanctuary houses some of the world's most endangered species. The Nairobi Safari Walk is a great way to see wildlife on foot. The birders will be pleased to learn that the park is home to over 400 kinds of birds, including the lovely gray-crowned crane. Number 5. Lamu Island Lamu, a tiny island northeast of Mombasa, exudes an old world charm. Lamu Old Town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is Kenya's oldest continuously inhabited village going back to the 12th century. One of the best things to do here is to take a stroll around the winding lanes. The structures represent the island's illustrious commercial past. Architectural elements from the Arab world, Europe, and India are visible, but done in a Swahili style. Wooden doors with intricate carvings, coral stone structures, secret courtyards, verandas, and rooftop patios are all typical sites. It's like stepping back in time when you go sightseeing here. Does plow the port, there are few if any motorized cars, and donkeys continue to dominate the streets as they have for generations. The majority of Lamu's residents are Muslims, and both men and women wear traditional clothing. Lamu Museum features exhibits on Swahili's culture and the region's naval history. Lamu Fort and the Donkey Sanctuary are among the island's top attractions. Number 4. Savo National Park Savo, Kenya's biggest park, is divided into two sections, Savo West and Savo East. These parks cover 4% of the country's total land area and include rivers, waterfalls, savanna, volcanic hills, a large lava rock plateau, and a diverse range of animals. Savo East, located halfway between Nairobi and Mombasa, is known for its photogenic sights of enormous elephant herds rolling and bathing in red dust. The park's palm-fringed Galana River winds its way through it, giving great wildlife viewing and a pleasant contrast to the dry plains. The Yata Plateau, the world's longest lava flow, Mudanda, Rock, and the Lugard Falls, which cascade into rapids and crocodile-infested pools, are among the other attractions. Number 3. Lake Nakuru National Park The large flocks of pink flamingos in Lake Nakuru National Park in central Kenya are well known. Lake Nakuru, one of the Rift Valley soda lakes that spans about a third of the park's territory, is teeming with birds. Since its inception in 1961, the park has been home to over 450 species of birds, as well as a diverse range of other animals. The creatures you could encounter include lions, leopards, warthogs, waterbucks, pythons, and white rhinos. And the environments range from vast grasslands flanking the lake to steep cliffs and forests. The park also has Africa's largest Euphorbia candelabrum forest. These indigenous to the area towering, branching, succulent add a strong textural accent to the dry surroundings. Number 2. Ambosili National Reserve Ambosili National Reserve, which is crowned by Africa's highest peak, Mount Kilimanjaro, is one of Kenya's most popular tourist destinations. The term Amboseli is derived from the Maasai phrase that means salty dust, a fitting descriptor of the park's dry environment. The reserve is one of the greatest sites in Africa 
to get up close and personal with big herds of elephants, big cats like lions and cheetah, as well as giraffe, impala, eland, waterbuck, gazelle, and more than 600 kinds of birds may all be found in the park. The dried up bed of Lake Amboseli, wetlands with sulfur springs, savanna, and forests are among the five ecosystems available to visitors. Look for the Maasai people who reside in the park's immediate vicinity. Number 1. Maasai Mara National Reserve One of Africa's most beautiful wildlife reserves is the Maasai Mara National Reserve. The Mara is the northern extension of the Serengeti and it creates a wildlife corridor between Tanzania and Kenya. It's called, after the statuesque, red-cloaked Maasai tribe who reside in the park and have been grazing their cattle here for decades. Mara means mottled in their language, maybe referring to the dance of light and shadow cast by the acacia trees and cloud-strewn skies over the wide plains. From July to October, the park is known for great migration, which sees millions of wildebeest, zebras, and Thompson's gazelle migrate to and from the Serengeti. Hippos and crocodiles swarm the banks of the Mara River. Thanks to its relatively high populations of lions, cheetahs, and leopard, the park is also recognized for delivering good predator sightings, especially during the dry months of December through February. It's hard to summarize the things to do in Kenya in one video, but still we've managed to explore the 10 most tourist favorite places in Kenya. Give a like to this video. Let us know in the comments which place you found the most interesting. Press the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and stay tuned for our next video by notifying. Until then, take care.